My name is Randy Weiss, and I am a member of the Advanced Television Broadcasting Alliance. I want to echo the important question recently asked of the FCC Chairman, Tom Wheeler, by Congressman Joe Barton. What are you doing to protect low-power television broadcasters? We stand with Congressman Barton in seeking protection for the numerous LPTV and translator TV stations represented by the Broadcasting Alliance. Perhaps more importantly, we would ask the chairman, what are you doing to protect the millions of over-the-air TV viewers who enjoy the free services provided by our members? The Broadcasting Alliance has worked closely with Congressman Barton in the hopes that Congress will fix the broken law which inadvertently allows the federal government to confiscate countless numbers of TV stations. These free services are currently being provided across America by licensed TV broadcasters, operated by churches, schools, community groups, minority programmers, foreign language networks, independent entrepreneurs, and diverse broadcast groups. The confiscation of a countless number of stations has been accidentally authorized by the government through a voluntary incentive auction. But that has now been proven to be a misnomer. There's nothing voluntary about this to an LPTV broadcaster facing confiscation without compensation. And this travesty will be followed by a more despicable decision when immediately thereafter, our confiscated spectrum is to be redistributed to powerful monopolies waiting to take what we have built. Now, if this mistake was merely an oversight, we hope the chairman will show how he will protect the stations represented by the Broadcasting Alliance. For if he ignores this coming crisis, countless numbers of free, over-the-air broadcast television stations will be involuntarily shut down and every associated job will be lost. Literally, the number of stations to be confiscated is apparently countless because the FCC cannot or will not inform the broadcasters who will live or who will die from this so-called voluntary auction. And countless citizens who enjoy the free services of these TV stations will also lose their free programming when these stations are forcibly shut down. The Broadcasting Alliance must ask how many viewers will lose the free services on which they depend for news and weather, emergency alerts, entertainment, education, and information. Apparently, there's also a countless number of citizens about to lose their free television services because no one seems to know how many viewers will be robbed of their free program choices. America was promised more free channels through the digital transition. That promise sparked enormous numbers of cash-strapped citizens being forced to purchase new digital TV sets. Will the promise of more free program choices also be broken by the government? Will those same citizens soon be forced to subscribe to expensive wireless cable or satellite providers charging ever-increasing monthly fees? Or will taxpayers be permitted to continue enjoying the free local programs provided by our members? The Broadcasting Alliance requests that this government make a promise that they will keep. Assure every licensed TV broadcaster that if you like your TV station, you'll be able to keep it. And tell the voters, if you like the free programs on your local station, you'll be able to watch them for free because that is the promise our members made when we covenanted with the FCC to build, license, and operate our free over-the-air TV stations for the benefit of the viewing public. We are part of the greatest communication system that any nation has ever offered its citizens. And we are an army of free, independent voices Voices that America deserves and our system of government is on the verge of destroying. The Broadcasting Alliance publicly asks our leaders to protect LPTV. This is the only right gesture to be made in the face of corporate greed, power grabs, and the loss of our freedoms if independent voices are forever silenced. So in conclusion, no more surprises from the government. America is tired of government failures and broken promises. TV is one of the few things in this country that still works. Don't break it. This message is sponsored by the Advanced Television Broadcasting Alliance. For more information, visit our website, broadcastingalliance.org.